Before you start, make sure everything is fully clean and sanitised. I've included a link above if you need any help. Welcome back 40 Pointers and thanks for watching. So this is the Munton's Continental Pilsner 2 can kit. On the back you'll find full instructions. This kit does not require any extra fermentables so everything is included inside. You'll find two cans of malt and also a sachet of yeast. So next up, grab yourself a saucepan etc and put both your tins in and then fill with boiling water and leave for between 5 to 10 minutes. This is to allow the malt to be easier to pour out. Now pour both your tins into fermenter, just add some boiling water to the tins afterwards just to get the last dregs out. Uh, you then want to add between one and three quarters and two and a quarter litres of boiling water. Obviously your cold water tap is going to be a lot warmer in the summer than in the winter. Then make sure you fully dissolve completely. You now want to add cold water up to the 23 litre mark. If you're using tap water, make sure that you treat it as I have with candom tablet. If you're using bottled water, please check the label for chlorine or chloramines. You then want to stir vigorously as you want to add as much oxygen as possible as this will help your yeast grow. So before you pitch your yeast, take a 100ml wort sample and then take your temperature. You're aiming for between 18 to 25 degrees. Then take your hydrometer reading. I've included a link in the description to get your temperature adjusted reading and record this in your log. So next up, sprinkle your yeast on top. Then fit your lid securely, install your thermal well if you're using one, and then your airlock, making sure that you fill it halfway. For best results, you want to ferment at between 18 to 21 degrees centigrade, or 64 to 69 degrees Fahrenheit. The total time in the fermenter will be two weeks. So on days 11 and 12 take your final readings. These must be the same to show fermentation has stopped before you can cold crash or add beer findings. This is very important. So once your readings are the same for two days, you can now cold crash between 1 to 3 degrees centigrade, or you can add beer findings, or you can do both. This will take two days to clear your brew. <laughs> two long weeks are finally finished, and you can now batch prime and bottle your brew. I'll be including the link above if you need any help. Maturing or aging your brew is a very important step in improving your beer's flavours. You're aiming for between one to three months, the latter if possible, if you can handle it. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future videos. 
Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Stay safe.